Today, on day two at IMDEX 2019, we've attended the warship display, during which we've had the chance to go on board some ships of Japan, China, and even a Singapore's Navy's one. The frigate of the People's Liberation Army Navy is one of the most advanced frigates of the PLA. We've had the opportunity to go on board the ship. Following a guide, one of the crew members, we were able to take some images of the ship and its armaments. At the back of the ship is the helicopter deck on which one cam of KA-28 LX helicopter can take off or land. At the front deck of the vessel are positioned two six-cell type 87 to 40 mm anti-submarine torpedo launchers, one 76 mm HPJ-26 naval gun capable of hitting targets either on the land, on the surface or in the air, and 32-cell VLS capable of firing surface-to-air and anti-submarine warfare missiles. The vessel is also armed with two four-cell C803 cruise missile launchers, two triple torpedo launchers able to fire U7 medium long range lightweight torpedoes and some type 1130 11 barrel 30 mm closing weapon systems. We've also had the opportunity to have a look at some other big deck vessels including the HMAS Canberra which is a landing helicopter dock of the Australian Navy, capable of carrying hundreds of troops, along with a hundred of lightweight vehicles or 12 M1A1 Abrams, and from 6 to 18 helicopters with a maximum hangar space. Another big deck vessel was the INS Shakti, which is a big tanker of the Indian Navy, capable of accommodating lots of goods and parts along with tons of fuel to replenish the military vessels of the Indian naval forces. Other vessels coming from Singapore, Japan, the USA or even Korea were also docked in the Changi naval base where the warship display was taking place. <laughs> Stages reporting ready for launch. Naval Group is one of the oldest shipbuilding companies in the world, with more than 400 years of naval experience. But during all these years, we have always remained at the forefront of naval techniques and technologies. Start We Up is the first event of a series. It witnesses our willingness to create and to develop in Singapore our worldwide R&D center of naval excellence. This center will be opened by October 2019 and will address the most advanced R&D topics. Start with, we create an environment for meeting and exchange between innovative Singaporean businesses and naval group experts. The purpose is to create synergy and to stimulate creativity along with it innovative mindset while confrontive, confronting both world, the Singaporean startup, the Naval Group experts. 
start with uh, direct the attention to our clear cut problematic, establishing consistency between short and long term. This event is really an opportunity to identify solutions for future collaborative projects by targeting short-term incubation. Our short-term innovation cycle is really the target of what we want to do during this day. The most relevant businesses regarding Naval Group's take and objective will be granted a funding up to 50,000 Sagabert dollars to develop joint solution with Naval Group. The name of the selected startup. First one is Mesh Network Foundation. Second one is Ebibin. Third one is D Driven Solution. Third one is a stress pan. Big three. Skylab Services. Steto and S3 Dynamics. Thank you to all the participating uh, startups.